Warning, the following video has educative value. Be advised, you might learn something. Hey guys, Cube Hamster here. Um, after the De Bruyne video, I had some video responses asking if I could uh, explain binary. Now, I know it's been done a lot. Um, some of the tutorials I've seen are not really good, in my opinion. Um, I mean, they give you a general idea, but don't really go in depth so this is sort of an in-depth tutorial on how binary works and uh, as you see I'm in 1.3 because I've got a book in uh, yeah written book uh, I just made to uh, help me explain it so before before you can understand binary which is just uh, a, basically a bunch of numbers ones and zeros uh, first you must understand decimal so let's start with decimal we have ten fingers, that's the origin why, uh, yeah, how the uh, decimal system started. But basically what happens is we have ten symbols. Starting at zero, you count up. And then after a certain point, when you reach nine, you, uh, you encounter a problem. Because I no longer have any symbols to represent my number. Now the solution to fix that is simple. Simply start over at zero and add another symbol. So you get one zero, so ten. Now Binary uh, only has two symbols, unlike decimal, which has ten. The only symbols you have are one and zero. In the computer, uh, a one would be uh, on, and a zero would stand for off. So that's the two states in the system. Now, if I start counting up with these two systems uh, symbols, so I, I count zero and then one, then I immediately have the same problem that I had on the previous page. I ran out of symbols. Now. The solution again is simple, just start over and add another symbol. Then if I count another one, I, I encounter a problem again. Now again I've run out of symbols, just, and the solution is just add another number. So counting in binary works sort of similar as how you would count in decimal. Same as, as we go from 99 to 100, because we ran out of symbols, in binary you go from 11 to 100. So basically, whenever you run out of symbols, just add a, an extra symbol and you start over again. Now, if you compare decimal to binary, um, this is basically how it goes with binary. So 0, 0, 1, then I have a problem, I fix it, I get 1, 0, then I can add another 1, because this 0 can change to 1. And I just keep repeating the process, and every time I encounter a problem, I just lose it, uh, solve it the exact same way. Uh, if it were decimal. So I go one step to the left and add the value on that uh, symbol. Now this can go on indefinite but the bigger the, the number gets the, the, the yeah binary numbers tend to get really really large. Now going into more in depth uh, before I can go really into depth on binary first you have to really understand how decimal works because it is not natural that if you if you take this number 3, 5, 6. Basically these are three numbers next to each other, 3, 5, 6. Yet we interpret them as being 356. Mainly 300 plus 50 plus 6. So the location of the symbol basically determines the value. The more to the left you go, the higher the value. If I add another one that would be a thousand and ten thousand etc. Um, now if I go more into depth on that 356 is a, a three digit number and let's assign some values to each digit so let's say uh, the 6 is digit 0 then the 5 is digit 1 and the 3 is digit 2 now what I'm about what I'm doing now seems really stupid because you are you, you are all very uh, familiar with the decimal system but later on will what I'm about to do now I will apply the exact same thing to binary and that hopefully will help you uh, understand how it works so what we're gonna do now um, again I've got the same example here it's very important that you note that decimal only has 10 symbols basically 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now if I were to convert decimal to decimal, this might may sound may sound very stupid, but basically the number three five six, the six is the zero digit, the nine is the 
then the value of 6 would be 6 times 10 to the power of 0, which is 6. And basically, this is all, this looks complicated, but basically what it says here is 6 times 1. Here it says 5 times 10, because the 5 is the yeah number 1 digit, so it would be tens basically. In this spot these are these are the tens, these are the ones, and then the last one are the one hundreds. So uh, there's actually a mistake here, there should be a three. <laughs> um but three hundred would be three times ten to the power of two. So it is three times ten because I've got ten sim sim uh, symbols to the power of two because it's the second digit. Now adding all these numbers I get my three hundred fifty six. Now, stupid as this may seem, if I go to the next page and we take a binary example, let's say I take the binary number 10011, only ones and zeros, that's all we have, and again I assign digits, so the zero digit, the one digit, the two, the three, and the four. Now, very important, note that binary only has two symbols. Decimal had ten, binary has two. Now, taking this to the next level and then trying to convert binary to decimal, what happens is um, what I just did with the decimal I'm going to do now as well. The zero digit has a value 1. So what I get is 1 times 2 and the reason it's 2 is because I, I have two symbols and in decimal I have 10 symbols. That's why it's times 10. Now, okay, times 2 to the power of 0 which is 1. Now that means that this digit adds one value. If I go to the next digit, there's again a 1, so I'd get 1 times 2 to the power of 1. Now 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And I keep going like this for all the digits, so 0 times 2 to the power of 2, well it's times 0, so you get 0. Um, 0 times 2 to the power of 3 is also 0. And then the, the last digit, which digit with value 4, I get 1 times 2, two dig because I've got two symbols, to the power of 4 equals 16. So that means that the binary number 10011 is 1 plus 2 plus 16, is 19. So binary 10011 is 19 in decimal. Now, what's happening is each, each uh, digit in the decimal system has a value of 1 and then 10, 100, 1000, etc. So example 4581 would be 1 plus 80 plus 500 plus 4000. Even though it's just a bunch of numbers next to each other. In binary you get the same thing, but instead of it being 1, 10, 100, each, each uh, digit is worth, um, yeah, basically becomes twice as, uh, worth twice as much. So the first digit is worth 1, the second digit is worth 2, the third is, and etc. You keep going like this. So what happens if I take a very big binary number, um, this digit is worth 1, this digit is worth 2, this di digit does not exist because it's value 0, this digit is worth 8, then this digit is worth 0 because I'm multiplying with 0, 32, 64. So if you add all the values of the digit that have a, digits that have a 1, you get the number 107. So the binary number 1101011 is 107. Now, you can actually use this approach to get uh, the approach on page 6 and 8 to get or convert any number number system to decimal because you also have uh, octal number system systems, hexadecimal systems where you have uh, 16 symbols or you have 8 symbols. Um, you could actually have a, a counting system that only has one symbol, it's also a possibility. Um, so yeah, you could use pretty much this approach to, um, yeah, to any system. Um, now, how, how, why is this useful in, uh, in uh, Minecraft? Well, if I've got four wires running um, and I turn some of them on, Basically what I have here is a binary number, the binary number 1010, on, off, on, off. And if you were to use a decoder, which I want to talk about in the yeah this next, next episode of this series, um, you could then uh, 
yeah, basically determine which line has to go on just by using a binary number and decoding it into something you want to happen. So, it, lots of theoretical stuff. Um, I uh, yeah, if uh, like I really I need feedback for this series. Um, if this is good, then uh, let me know. If you guys think this is bad and I should stop doing this, uh, also let me know. Um, but yeah, I sort of hope this uh, this helps. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.